Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hey. Welcome to Neho Postmaster Club. Yeah, I'm your postmaster of evening. I'm very sure to be here. I'm glad to see you again. How are you today? Great. Great. I would like to say some words. Uh, I think there were some new friends here. So let me introduce the history of Toastmasters. Uh, the to uh, the Toastmasters... Okay, okay. Let me, uh, let me tell you some. Uh, I think uh, there are some people uh, stay at home, watch TV, play video game. They are rest their time. But you are not. <laughs> you just sit here. That's a great job for you. Let's give, you all, give yourself a big applause. <laughs> so today I'm going to introduce the history of Toastmasters. The Toastmasters is a non-profit organization. Uh, founded in the, the club, is, uh, it was founded in the United States in 1924 by a guy whose name is Rob <laughs> Smelly. The first club in Taiwan was, uh, was established in 1958, Nehu Toastmaster, include in Nehu Toastmaster club. The Nehu Toastmasters was born in when? <laughs> How do you know? Because you are it's, president. Yeah, president. So there are there are current more than one hundred more than one hundred clubs in Taiwan. So there are various languages in in there are various languages uh, such as English, uh, Taiwanese. Hakka, Japanese, and Spanish. So, by the way, uh, our meetings are held on the second and fourth Wednesday, <coughs> and we have we also have special event on the third and on the first and third Wednesday. You can come join us. We, we play some games, or we play four games, play magic, or something like a workshop. You can come join us. And then, now I would like to ask you a question. Uh, what's your purpose that you join this meeting? What's your purpose that you join this meeting? Yeah, just for fun, or making friends, <laughs> or improve your English, or seek or search your Mr. Right or Mr. Right. <laughs> yeah, oh, different. I, I I heard different. Oh, I heard different answers, but my answer is, I I would like to play games here. Mm -hmm. I would like, yeah. I play. I like play games. Like play magic, or board games. So today I want to play a game. Today I want to play a game. You have no choice. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I heard uh, a game very pretty funny, like uh, tongue twister, tongue twister, P P A P. You know that? P P A P. No? I have a pen. Would you like to? You can give the show again. Okay, okay. Would you like to play a game with me? I really like to play with you. Yeah. Now, just repeat after me. <laughs> I have a pen. Okay, go. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. Just raise your hand like this. I have a pen. I have a pen. I have an apple. I have an apple. Uh, uh, uh. Apple pen. Apple, apple pen. pen. Now, I have a pen. I have a pen. I have a pineapple. I have a pineapple. Uh, uh, pineapple pen. Pineapple pen. Apple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Pineapple pen. Uh. Uh. Pen pineapple apple pen. 
Okay, this is a rehearsal. Let's do it. Let's do it again, okay? Okay. Pretty funny. I I was playing this game with my my kids. Okay. I have a pen. I have a pen. I have an apple. I have an apple. Uh. Apple pen. Apple pen. I have a pen. I have a pen. I have a pineapple. I have a pineapple. Uh. Pineapple pen. Pineapple pen. Apple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Pineapple pen. Uh. Pineapple pineapple pen. <laughs> okay. Okay. What time is it? Oh, we talk. Okay. So let me. Okay. Thank you for your participation. So let's move on to our. I would like to introduce our helper. Uh, that's. They are very important to us. They are help. They help our meeting run smoothly. So our timer tonight is Simon. Simon, he is very cute. I, I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Especially his name. His name is Simon. Yeah, when I was uh, you know, when I was a child, I play a game like Simon Says. So I like I like Simon. <laughs> Would you like to play Simon Says with me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, Simon Says, stand up. Simon Says, sit down. Stand up. Oh, I fell. <laughs> okay, I asked him a question. I asked him a question. Uh, he told me if his wife cheated, cheated on him, what what would he do? He said he would he would take his he would take his child to Russia <laughs> to look to find your second wife. Russia, very tall, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Let's welcome Simon. Okay, dear fellow member and most welcome guest, I am the timer for tonight. Yes, will you deliver your speech? I will help you control your time. When I uh, when I raise the green card, green card, you are horrified. Okay. When I raise the yellow card, um, that means you still one million left. Okay. When I raise the red card. <laughs> okay. Rebecca and you still end your speech as soon as possible. After thirty second, uh, second end your speech. Or you will be disqualified. Yes, disqualified. Okay. Let me let me come back to the center of the meeting. <laughs> Thank you, Simon, for your clear expression. So next helper is our art counter. Our our counter tonight is Caroline. Caroline. She I asked her the que the same question. She told me if her husband cheated on her, she would react nothing. <laughs> Just try to get all of his money. <laughs> eventually, uh, eventually she will be a. Uh, would be a queen, and his husband would, her husband will be a poor guy. <laughs> and then she would tell the mistress, mistress Xiao San. Let's just talk her. Yeah, my my husband, she doesn't, he he's not deserve to get a long race. <laughs> just break up with him. Yeah. So that's that's her answer. So let's welcome. Caroline. Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm pleased to be the art hunter for tonight's meeting. And my 
job tonight is to get to help you guys to get rid of your unnecessary wordings such as mm, eh, well and then these wordings that you don't actually need to speak during your uh, speak uh, speech so I am going to help you guys to note down how many words like uh, uh, those unnecessary wordings for you okay thank you, thank you.